Hello guys! Today we're gonna make a review of this car, Mercedes-Benz 2017 GLC with the AMG suspension. So, let's start! Okay guys, let's start with the trunk. A lot of people say there is enough space for the luggage, however in my opinion this is not true. We have even moved the huge TV 65 inches with this car. So, you can obviously open this trunk with the button there, however in my opinion it's obviously convenient with the key. So, let's see. <laughs> As you can see, from the first you know, view, it doesn't look that huge. However, you obviously can put down the seats and make so much more space for you if you need to move something huge like TV or sofa or wherever what you need in your life. But, let's check this. I think it's enough, enough space for one person, really. I mean, I can literally just chill on the sun and enjoy the nice weather today, so... Maybe for someone it's not enough, but for me, really, it's good. I like it. You can chill here. And, of course, I mean, you can obviously close this trunk with a button up here, but it's not that cool, right? Because you have a key. So, let's try it together. I love this. So, let's look inside. Well, on my opinion, it's comfortable here. Maybe, of course, for a bigger person, it won't be that comfortable. But come on, it's not Mercedes S-Class, right? Um, you have here a speaker on the door, obviously you can put up and down the window, the air conditioner control, a little bit light, and really, I mean, that's it. Really Mercedes, you could put a little bit more buttons here, especially that the car was made in 2017, maybe at least a USB port for the charger could be really convenient here, but other than that, I mean, I really like this place. Oh, it's really cool in my opinion. Uh, in general, here is enough space. Of course, as I said, there could be added like a small things like USB port or like uh, in general a few buttons, light and all of the stuff for just, uh, you know, extra convenience. But at the same time, I mean, it's really good. Like, seriously, it's good. So let's look on the front seats. What can I tell you a sitting here in the front seat, really, as a driver? First of all, doors. Well, nothing that you truly just say, obvious, the speakers, um, what else? You can put the windows up and down, open the trunk with the button here, close the whole car. 
Um, I think the one new stuff here is that you actually can war warm up your seat. This is actually cool. There is even three steps, like really warm and not that warm, all of this. Uh, <laughs> signalization, God. I don't really understand why brand still does it, like really. Um, I don't understand why brand still do that, like really. Signalization looks like 10 years ago and it still looks the same, like really, why? But it's okay what else um, here we can see a lot of buttons and it's really convenient and I'm not gonna tell you you know all the stuff which is here because you can re e really easily read this online and even put the way you want it if you go to a salon and just ask it you know so I'm not gonna bore you with all this information but what cool is here that there is a button with a 360 camera that even if you want to park or you just you know you want to see what is around to make sure there's nothing happening with a new car then of course it's cool you just push the button here and it works okay what else uh, here's the buttons for the seat to put it up and down no words it's kind of cool you know but what really bothers me, like really, Mercedes, like why? Why you still move the whole seat like this? I don't get You have buttons for everything, like literally everything, but not this. Same stuff for the whole wheel, like why? Why? You have so many buttons, why not just add, to, uh, add two more? I don't get it. But I mean, it's not an S class, of course, I get it. But it's still really expensive car, you know? It's really expensive and for this money they could add another two buttons to make the whole car more comfortable for the driver and in general user of this car. So, what else? A display. Of course, I understand. This is a really taste stuff and we are not using this car to sit down here and just watch the movies or YouTube videos. I get it, of course. But still, this display could be a bit, you know, bigger for such amount of money that we're giving for this uh, car. And uh, also for like navigation system, it would be nicer if the whole display would be bigger, that the whole picture comes, comes in. But, well, yeah, well, what else? Um, this is actually the cool thing because you can use it like this is a sensor so you can use it to you know uh, swipe the next um, song change the radio and all of this stuff so well it's nice but i i can really true to say say that it's like really important i can use the buttons to do the same so well but what really bothers me as well is that the usb port for any gadget is inside this box. I don't get it, like seriously. Of course, I understand if a driver wants to charge his own phone, I see the logic here, okay? He puts the phone, he closes it, it's cool because it's hands-free, he can talk, he doesn't really need his phone, you know, to uh, speak with someone because it's hands-free here. Okay, get it, but, just imagine your friend, husband, I don't know, child sits next to you and he want to charge his own gadget. What he gonna do? Like how it's gonna work? You know what? We're actually gonna do it. Oh, women's baths are just crazy huge. Oh, here's the cable. Okay. So we're gonna see how it literally works. Okay, here's the cable. We put it here. Oh, woman's and technology is not that good. And what happens now? Like, I mean, I get it. It's cool. It's kind of, kind of still works. But there is like a, a USB port for two cables. So two won't get in. I don't get it. And in general, you know, that you close the cable between, in the box. Like, I don't get it. It can easily break it. And in general, just, you know, damage the whole cable, which costs money. So, I don't see how it is convenient, but maybe I just get, don't get something. Anyway, in general, I would say it's really a cool car. 
Like I really enjoy driving and it's really convenient. Of course I can sit the whole hour here and tell you all the small bits that you know not cool, not perfect, it could be better and all of this stuff. But truly to say I do enjoy this car. I really like it and uh, I hope that after we're gonna show you the whole like speed modes and all of this how you can use with this car and um, in the town, you know, how it's in general this car is in use um, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about so let's go to some town and check it out so guys, let's check the car Now we're gonna check the car, how it really drives, uh, but we're gonna start it only with the comfort mode. Truly to say, it's my favorite. You really don't feel like the car, it's just kind of drive by itself and everything what I'm gonna do right now is just like use just a speed and that's it really. Later, obviously, we're gonna show how the car changes as soon as you change the mode to like a sport, sport plus, and all of the other modes which is here. So yeah, wait a second, I need to turn the gas. Yeah. Okay. What's happening here? Nothing, and that's perfect because I can use the speed. We are right now in a town, but. Here is no one really, so we can really put the speed. So, let's start. Ooh, I like it. Really, I really like it. And you don't feel the speed. It's crazy. It's just, no matter what, how much is it? It was like 140. And it was still cool. I mean, oh. You don't feel the speed, how crazy it is, right? So, now, again, I forgot the main stuff. Now, we're gonna try the mode Sport Plus, and I hope it's gonna work, because in a comfort, you don't really use the speed, you just like really comfortably, comfortably drive, and it's really cool, you know, like you just don't feel the car at all, it kind of drives itself as I said earlier. But now we're gonna use <sighs> Mode Sport Plus and you're even gonna hear the difference, you know, the way the car sounds. So, as I said, right now we're gonna use a Mode Sport Plus and you're gonna hear the whole difference, okay? Now. That's cool, right? Unfortunately, it's like I cannot drive for a whole time but with such high speed because we are still in the area where there's a lot of people. But I hope you really heard the difference. I mean, there is a difference even the way the whole car sounds and I hope you got it. So, we're gonna go right now to the town and just show, you know, in general the car in use. You know, this car has amazing feature in it. Whenever the car feels that there is like something happening and you really need to stop, it stops itself. So even if you are not, I don't know, really paying attention to something and you are not really accurate driving or, you know, sleepy, whatever, and just didn't really realize that, I don't know, someone's coming from the right side or you need a more careful in general in the road then uh, literally car start stops by itself I mean is it cool right I mean it is it really is even the wheel turns to the left and right the way you want it and you don't even need to think you know it does everything for yourself so it's cool and also if uh, 
parking is not for you or just in general you don't like it or you're just bad on it or whatever the reason here's really cool stuff uh, here is a video camera for 360 so you can use it to make sure you're driving really carefully and parking really carefully like you can see everything around you you know like it's really really cool So what else? Uh, also, here's really cool uh, feature in this is that uh, if you're not really good in parking like me, or just in general don't like it, you can always use uh, first of all like automatic parking, uh, but it only can be used for the parallel one. So still, it's really cool. However. Uh, if not, you can use a button, a video camera 360 around and uh, it can be really easily then to park. Really easy, I'm sorry. I need to drink a little bit more coffee. Hello guys, once again. For you who probably haven't believed us that we have moved this huge city, 65 inches, with this car, we're just gonna do it once more again for you. So, challenge accepted. <laughs> well, probably is the best idea for us to just open the trunk, right? Bam! Second one. This TV. And now, if you have watched The Big Bang Theory, one of the, my favorite shows, you do it like this. Bam. Bam. Ta-da. Kind of. But we are there. Voila! Whoop. Try it! <laughs> so, <sighs> see, it's possible. So, as you can see, guys, it can be easily done, just a little bit of work, but it's possible. So, thank you very much for your attention today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please down, write down in the comments what you think about this video. Do you like it? Do you not? What do you think in general of this type of should we make more or not and uh, I hope you're just waiting more videos uh, from me and see you soon